What's up YouTube, Capital G here. We're talking Clash of Rebellion in this video. We've got some Japanese leaks. Oh yeah, the hype is definitely real. Um, I, I've got to say, man, Clash of Rebellion is looking like it is going to be one of the sickest sets that we've seen in a very long time. It might not have the same impact on the competitive meta that uh, Duos Alliance does, but just in terms of originality and unexpected, like Clash of Rebellion seems to be the bee's knees. I mean, we're getting red support and all this other good stuff and now Lightsworn are getting a freaking XC it is finally happening um I know that uh personally for me I kind of thought that Michael came out of like left field like that was completely unexpected for me for Lightsworn to um get a synchro and a tuner obviously but it looks like they're getting an XC and I believe that this is Minerva apparently she grew up so I don't know if there's going to be like a lore behind that or what but Minerva is going to be NXC. As you can see, it's obviously light attribute as all Lightsworn monsters are. And it just, I mean, it looks like a Lightsworn monster. You know what I mean? So Lightsworn are getting their own XCs and I am super excited. All right, so let's see what Minerva does. The card's name is Minerva Lightsworn Saint. Um, I do not remember originally what she was. Oh my goodness, it just dawned on me that the owl grew up too. I just, I, I was thinking of Minerva's picture in my mind. And I remember she has her like hand out and isn't there a bird on her hand or something like that? And it's like a, it, I, I think it's an owl, but it ain't, it ain't like that. So I was just thinking, I was like, what's with the owl? And I was like, oh my goodness, she has an owl in the picture when she's a little girl. All right, so she requires two level fours. Okay, um, shout outs for being generic. Uh, 2,000 attack, 800 defense. I am getting the strangest, like, deja vu with the Raid Raptors. Like, don't they, they have, like, an Al XC, and it's giving me, like, the strangest deja vu. Anyways, you can only use each effect of Minerva Lightsworn Saint once per turn. Cool, she has multiple effects, and you can use them both. Uh, effect number one, you can detach one XC material, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, and if there are any Lightsworn cards sent, draw one card for each. Okay, I definitely like that. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I, I can get down with that because not only do I have the potential of sacking, hitting Minervas and hitting um, Wolves or potential names, but I get to draw a card. So basically, she has the built-in Garoff effect. That's cool. Effect number two. If this card is destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect, okay, without even reading the rest, I'm liking this because it means that it pays for itself. You can send the top three cards uh, of your deck to the graveyard. And if there are any light sworn cards sent, you can destroy, <laughs> oh my goodness, any number of cards on the field up to that amount. Man, this card is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. This card is freaking bananas. This is a man. You, oh my goodness. It just dawned on me. Do you know how good this card is going to be in Infernoids? This this card is going to be stupid in Infernoids. Can you imagine you summon a Raiden and then you summon a Patcher? You blow your opponent. You like blow up one of their back row and then you exceed into this. And then you potentially mill like a Lumina draw a card. And when your opponent kills it, you may mill a Raiden. And you get to blow one of their cards up. This card is nuts. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely giving this card my seal of approval and even beyond that, I am loving Clash of Rebellion because it is showing me that Konami is willing to support older art types and especially with them giving older art types like brand new mechanics like Red Eyes getting a Synchro and a Ritual and an XC and all of that good stuff, uh, or excuse me, um, a Fusion. But, uh, you know, Lightsworn, now them getting an XC, it's like sky's the limit, man. We could easily see like a Gladiator Beast XC or um, a Gravekeeper's XC would be be nice i think that cleford maybe deserve a rank 4 xc that would be pretty cool so let me know what you guys think i'm thinking this card is amazing i don't know what the heck these are i don't know if these are lightsworn or zephra or what so anyways thank you guys for watching as always subscribing makes life happy